Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. I wanted to show you a closer look at our Bugs Moran wallets as well as some of the other wallets that we're shipping out today. If you picked up a one-shot card case or one of our leather coasters from the coaster grab bag, we'll be shipping most of those out today and the rest of them out tomorrow. But I'm gonna have my brother Matt help me out to show you this Bugs Moran as well as some other wallets that we're shipping out. So let's check it out together. So the Bugs Moran has quickly become one of our best selling wallets. I think people really like the minimalist form factor and how it fits nicely into any front pocket. So Matt's going to help show me how this one loads up. What's up, Matt? Hey. <laughs> so why don't you load up this uh, color four Bugs Moran? So what's cool about the Bugs Moran is it has those four card slots. So it's very much a minimalist style that's designed to fit in the front pocket. But the two larger card slots on here, those are designed to fit bills folded in half. So this is a brand new Bugs Moran, and when they're new, they're, everything's a little tighter, but you can form this leather to fit a ton of bills and a ton of cards. But also those top two card slots, those will fit cards as well. And we suggest using you know, three or four cards. You can put more in there, but one of the problems is once you start to add a bunch of cards to any of the card slots, that leather will conform around it. So it will be form fitted to however many cards you put in. So if you go from five cards down to three, you might find those cards to be a little bit loose in there. So we don't suggest going down in cards. You can always add more, but you can't really take away too many. So here's a Bugs Moran and Natural Shell Cordovan. This is probably the best wallet for patina in terms of Shell Cordovan colors. Then we have an uh, Ultraviolet Shell Cordovan, which is a relatively new color from Horween super vibrant i really like the die marks on the uh, reverse side of that very unique here we have a black shell with a reverse black interior some nice die splattering here as well this one is uh getting away from shell is a natural chrome excel you can even see the pull up down the uh down the spine there just when, it, when the leather flexes it pulls up here we have uh let's see oh color four shell with a reverse color four interior. And that's kind of the counterpart to this guy where we have color four on the inside and out for the one you loaded up a minute ago. We also have this small batch that we did. This one in particular has, it looks like it has the Horween measuring stamp kind of hidden in there. And this one is a 100% whiskey Bugs Moran. Can you compare the whiskey and natural? Because they're pretty similar. They are similar. Uh, obviously, whiskey's a little bit more brown, a little bit darker to start. They're going to age very, very similarly. Similarly. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to age very, very close to each other. Yeah, I, I read the whiskey is a little darker and a little bit more golden when compared to the natural. So let's move on to the uh, Tony the Ants that you have there, which are sort of like the Bugs Moran, but they just have a bill slot. This one is a color eight shell on the exterior and color eight on the interior. Good Horween ink stamp there. Super clean, traditional color. And here we have a English tan Dublin leather. I think the English tan is our most popular leather right now. And I think people really like this sort of orangey, vibrant tan color that it has, but it also has a similar effect to the Chrome Excel with that sort of burst effect on the spine. We're just mobilizing the waxes there and revealing a little bit of the undertone of the color. And then, of course, let me try to give you a good demo of the grain because there's so much, so much grain character all right, let's take a look at this Horween leather belt. We have a few belts shipping out today. This one is in natural Chrome Excel leather, and it's super smooth, buttery, and rich feeling. Uh, I just love the feel of the Chrome Excel. But what's great about our belts is that they're unlined, so they're super comfortable. We also have these unique teardrop hole shapes for the adjustment side of the belts. Each of these belts are fitted to the center hole. So this one is a 32 inch belt, which means that it will measure 32 inches from the start of the buckle, sort of where the leather folds around the buckle to that middle hole. So the best way to size a belt from us is to take your existing belt 
and measure from the start of the leather on the buckle to the hole that you currently use. And that's the size you should order from us. Typically, you're gonna order probably about two inches larger than your jean size, which is pretty common. I wear a 34 inch jean, for example, and the belts that I wear from us are 36 inches. But we also have double stitching. So they're extra reinforced with extra thick thread. This is actually thicker thread than we normally use on our wallets. So it's really in there. And then we also hand burnish all of the edges of every item that we do, including our belt. So they have a really nice sealed off and finished in edge. And we have two black Frank the Enforcers going out today. One of them is in black Dublin and one is in black Shell Cordovan. And I thought this would be a really good opportunity to show you the difference in the leather character on these two leathers. You can see on the left here, the black Dublin is super grainy, has a ton of natural character, all those little bits of grain uh, all the small little hair holes that I totally love and we get all those random natural striations on the Dublin. I love it. I think it's the most interesting black leather around and on the black shell cordovan, it's super bright and shiny, very much a mirror like finish. So it will <laughs> reflect everything. And I like the way that the light is reflected off the black shell in particular. I think it just has a really futuristic kind of look. And let's compare the edges on these two wallets because the cross section of the black Dublin is it's drum dyed black. So you will see a black finish look on the edge. Although all we put on there is tokenol and wax. So it does appear stained, but that's just how the leather comes to us. And on the black shell cordovan, these are actually more of a raw sort of natural color, but we do wax and burnish those. It's slightly darker than just a regular natural shell. We do have like a nice little sheen to these edges from the way that we hand finish them. So speaking of hand finishing, we have two Johnny the Foxes here. This first one is 100% color eight shell cordovan. And I'm loving our Johnny the Foxes recently in the 100% shell. I just think they're incredible. But what's extra special about them is we started to hand stain and burnish the edges on them. So we use the same exact colored stain as Horween uses on the shell cordovan, but we're applying that stain to all of the edges of the wallet. So not, not only do we have the edges on the card holders like you see here, but we also have that same stain on the outside edges of the wallet. And it might appear a little bit black in the video here, but they're definitely more of a burgundy, dark brown color, and it does definitely match the Color 8 Shell Cordovan. We do have another Johnny the Fox to show you. This one here is a natural Shell Cordovan. I just love that, that natural color. And if you're into patina, this is probably the one to get. And take a look at the inside here because I love a reverse interior. I think that the reverse shell wears in a little bit better on the insides of wallets. I just tend to see them be able to be a little bit more easily filled in and polished up on the reverse shell as opposed to a shell interior. They're both very nice and of course the reverse shell is more of an aggressive sort of characteristic. It's a little bit more unique and perhaps a little bit less refined. I just find them a, to be a little bit better aging. And to round it off today, we have a couple Capones to show you. So speaking of natural shell cordovan, we also make a natural shell cordovan Capone. And this is our newest model. This is more of a modern style money clip where we have four card slots as well as the clip in the center. And what's really important to point out on the money clip is this clip is super strong. So even with one bill on the inside of this money clip, it will hold it in there very tight. So even with one little bill, that spring is super strong. So if Matt shakes it and tries to get the bill out of there, it's not going anywhere. So if your money clip is not doing that, there might be a problem with the hardware. So I'd be happy to fix that up for you, but they should definitely be held in place exactly like this one. And let me show you my Capone here. I've been wearing this one in English Hand Dublin. And I put my main cards on the outside here. I find them to be easily accessible on the outside of this money clip. Super nice. And I actually have been enjoying this one just for how minimalist it is. Even though I have a bunch of cash in here, it still remains quite thin. And I have about 16 credit cards in here too. And here's the same exact wallet that I've been using, although this one is new and unused. This is the English Tan Dublin with that incredible grain character. Just take a look at that. And let me show you how uh, mine was worn in. I just like how this leather molds and conforms around anything you put inside of it. And you might notice a little bit of difference in color. And that's because mine has been worn, but also each piece of Dublin 
is finished by hand from Horween. So we do tend to see a little bit of natural variation in the color as well as in the texture. It's just a very natural appearing leather and they tend to be kind of random. Although you will tend to see them in the sort of orangey, more vibrant tan shade, no matter what. All right, so Matt, why don't, why don't you pick your stunner of the day? Oh gosh, I'd have to go with the, uh, the new Capone Money Clip Wallet simply because it's new and awesome and amazing and uh, that natural shell is just a patina machine. You know what, my stunner of the day is going to be this Bugs Moran here. And I just love the ultraviolet. It's got this really incredible color shift to it that we don't see on most leathers in the world. Although the Shell Cordovan from Horween tends to have a nice dramatic range of color. And this is one of those rare colors. I just love seeing it. And it's one of those pieces too, when people come to our shop and they see this die mark on the reverse side of the shell. That's something that uh, tends to catch people's eyes. So it's catching my eye right now. It's stunner of the day. So thanks for checking out the video today. If you have any questions, definitely let us know. And until next time, hope you have a good one.